Meanwhile, the right wingers pretending to be left wingers like Jimmy Dore, like, oh no, that one that was wasn't my idea. Uh, that hurts my ego. I won't help. I won't ever help progressives when you might win. Okay, how about the infrastructure bill? Oh, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to tell you how uh, progressives are still bad. But wait a minute. They're blocking the bill. Bernie said he's not going to vote for the bill. Shouldn't you use your mind and your judgment and say, oh, that makes sense and that doesn't based on the facts? No, because their intent is not to help progressives. Their intent is to destroy progressives. Meanwhile, if you care about progressives, yes, you should put public pressure on them when it makes sense, when it when it's doable. And, and it's not because you hate them. It's because you're being an ally saying, Trust us, if we work together, we can create enough public pressure on issues like $15 minimum wage. And yes, eventually Medicare for all. Of course, I desperately want Medicare for all. And by the way, no, they're not fighting hard enough on that. But yes, on the infrastructure bill, they are fighting. And so let's encourage that. Let's head in the right direction so we're not just destructive, so that we're constructive, so we can pass these bills. Guys, I got to say one more thing. This is not about us. There's the $15 minimum wage affects 30 million Americans. It would double their wages. It's $92 billion on the line. It's either going to go to corporate executives or it's going to go to working Americans. So put aside everybody's ego. God damn it, it isn't about your ego. Whether you're in Congress or you're a talk show host, we got to get those people help. We have to get them help right away. And yes, the Democrats always intended to betray them, and they did. That's just a fact. And, and, and Biden and Pelosi and Schumer fans, I don't know who you are. Why are you fans of weirdo corporate uh, politicians? But if you, okay, all of you guys, show, Biden and all three of them have said over and over again how much they care about the $15 minimum wage. I